I'm making my <coughs> making my morning coffee right now and a quick breakfast for Belle. I'm actually dropping him off at my in-laws for just a little bit this morning before his nap. Um, I'm gonna spend some time over there so that I can get caught up on some YouTube work slash housework. He very rarely he very rarely gets to like go over there during the day. They both they both still work. Um, I feel like it's a lot easier for him to go spend some time with like my mom because she doesn't work. She stays home full time. So I'm excited for him to get some alone time with them. But I am excited for him to get some alone time with them for a little bit this morning and to play and for me to be able to get things done without feeling distracted or feeling guilty because I definitely struggle with like riding the balance of like doing housework while the kids are awake because it's good for them to see that it takes work to keep the house you know clean and it's just part of the responsibility of living here that way they can contribute soon but or someday but I also struggle with knowing like where to draw the line because I'm like I'm just feeling so split like I'm trying to play with him and be present but also trying to get things done. I am sure I'm not the only mom feeling that way but I am mixing up some french toast for him. I feel like it's not the best healthiest breakfast but for a toddler it's a really easy way to sneak in some eggs and protein. So I do like this is a fresh loaf of bread that my mom just baked. It's honey wheat. Usually we do sourdough. A wash of milk and pumpkin pie seasoning and then I do like a dash of maple syrup. And sometimes if I'm feeling like he's really having a like hard time wanting to eat it because he won't dip things in syrup. So um, if I'm feeling like I want to make it a little sweeter for him so that he will eat it, um, I'll sprinkle some like raw sugar on top after I cook it. And he really likes it and I feel good about it because I'm like you're at least getting some eggs in um, and the bread is a little bit filling in your tummy. It's always better than just eating nothing for breakfast. So gonna make that for him and then we'll probably like head straight out the door because I wanted to try to get as much time before his nap as I could. He doesn't really nap at their house ever. So if he was gonna nap there I would obviously have like a lot more a lot more time but um I just don't want to worry about it and risk him not taking a nap and him being really upset so I'm just gonna grab him beforehand. But yeah that's what we're doing. Welcome to the vlog. Billy boy. You ready for your vitamins? Which one do you want today? A green one. A green one? Oh, you're going to put it on your plate? Just one, remember? A red. You want red? Well, you can have red tomorrow because today you ate a green one. Right now is a perfect time to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Haya. You guys know we love Haya in this household. Haya is a super powered chewable multivitamin for kids ages two and up. It is packed with everything that your kid needs to develop in a healthy and strong way. Organic fruits and vegetables and essential key nutrients and vitamins for your kid's growth. Specifically for like bone health, teeth health, brain development, sleep, mood. It's very versatile and- Mama. Yeah, baby. I'm it. You want, oh, you liked those? Haya is a pediatrician approved vitamin, which gives us the peace of mind knowing that it really is giving you what your kids need. It was made by parents for parents to kind of take the guesswork, the mental load off of you. There is so much to think about when you have children. When do I need to drop them off here? When do they need to be picked up? What time do I need to schedule this appointment for? When do they need to go to bed? What should I be feeding them today? What should they be playing with? What should they be watching? It's a lot to think about, so it's nice to have one thing that takes a little bit of the responsibility off of your shoulders and gives you that peace of mind knowing that this can fill in a little bit of the gaps when it comes to children's, your children's diet. It's very common for young kids to have food preferences and not be able to get everything they need in a day in a diet and Haya just gives me a little bit of peace of mind knowing that he's getting vitamins and nutrients from somewhere. With your first month, you'll receive a refillable glass bottle that you can customize with stickers to make your kid more excited about taking them. I feel like if my kid thinks they taste good, 
your kids probably will too because he's a pretty tough critic. They are non-dairy, vegan, no food dyes, no gluten, like pretty much anything you don't want in your vitamin, they don't have it in there. Sign up and get Haya delivered. delivered to your door on a pediatrician approved schedule. It's just as simple as it gets, honestly. We really, really love them. If you guys are interested in trying Haya, I will put the link on the screen but my link will save you 50% off your first order with Haya, which is an amazing deal. And I can almost guarantee your kids will look forward to taking them. He asks to take them multiple times a day. Yeah, I gave me some. I just got back from dropping Belle off. It is 9.40 and I'm gonna try to clean up the kitchen really fast and like maybe make myself something to eat because I haven't eaten yet. And then I'm going to take advantage of this time and sit down and read my Bible for a little bit before I get into like all the hustle and bustle because I was like, I want to be really productive with this time. But also, I don't get time where, you know, like I can sit and do that kind of fussing in his bed. Um, I think he's going to fall asleep, but I'm not sure. I'm probably just going to have to go and get him. He fell asleep for a second in the car when we went to drop Belly off, so... I literally am already gonna go get him. He said, I'm not tired anymore, mama. Here you go. This is my dream breakfast around the holidays. If you're not eating Thanksgiving leftovers for breakfast, more different people from having sweet potato casserole that I made. Delish. Some coffee. Let's go spend some time with Jesus. going to die but I wanted to like chat a little bit because I feel like God is doing so much in my heart recently I don't even know if I could like properly condense it enough for you guys to even say what I feel like I have learned about the Lord and how he has like drawn me near to him recently but I hope that over time he gives me the words to like put it into my videos and just kind of like relay that to you guys because I want to share but I just feel I feel his presence so much and like feel so like I know he loves me and that has been a really hard truth for me to accept for some reason I don't know why I have no problem knowing that God knows that God loves everyone else but for me it has always felt like God loves everyone else but he's not allowed to love me and I, th I think it has so much to do with how I feel about myself but just like lately I feel like I've been able to fully accept that love that he has for me and it's just been changing everything but long story short I just finished up my bible reading Theo's down for a nap I'm still making my way through um, this Bible study on the Psalms, but today I read Psalm 85, and it was so good, and so I figured that I would just, you know, share a little tidbit of it with you guys, God's goodness, and remembering God's goodness, but also crying out for Him to give them strength and comfort them in trial, and something that the psalms especially has taught me is like we have to remember what god has done we have to consciously every day make an effort to remind ourselves of who god is and what god has done because all the way back in genesis the first thing the serpent says is did god really say that to you did god really tell you that if you ate of this tree that this would happen and that is exactly what the enemy still does today, what the world does. It's like the world tries to get us to kind of forget what God said or who God is 
or what he's done or maybe remember it differently or yeah maybe God didn't mean that when he promised that that's what the world wants for us and we have to continually every single day like open this up and remind ourselves no this is who God said he is this is what God promised God does not go back on his word and if we're not in the Bible all the time and if we're not surrounded by other Christians who are going to remind us of that truth we will be so quick to forget and we will be so quick to believe that little that little voice that's like did God really say that you were forgiven for your sins did he really say that or did he say you need to earn it did God really say that he loves you no matter what or did he say I love you only when you're doing this like you know what I mean making you question the truth and when you live in that state of doubt and when you live in that state where you're very easily influenced and led astray from the truth a lot of a lot of sin can enter your life that way doubt enters your life that way all he's got to do all the enemy's got to do is get a little bit of doubt in your head and just like this chapter um lord you were favorable to your land you restored the fortunes of jacob you forgave the iniquity of your people you covered all their sin you withdrew all your wrath you turned from your hot anger do it again restore us again um and then back in like the other chapters they all kind of start out with remembering who he is first we cannot forget who he is what he has done and who he says he is and what he will do and that was just really encouraging to me today but so i hope it was encouraging to you guys um but i'm running a little short on time now it's 11 so i'm gonna have to probably go get bell soon um i'm gonna text my father-in-law and see how he's doing try to squeeze in a workout since theo is asleep and then maybe speed clean the house that way when we do get back here and it is nap time we can maybe um get a couple more things done let's do a workout also this little sweatshirt i have on i got for my anniversary present for austin and i mine has his initial on the sleeve and then this is our wedding anniversary in um roman numerals and then he has a matching one in like a different shade it was like a green and his has my initial our seven year wedding anniversary is this weekend seven years and then we have been together for almost 10 years that is insane. Sneakers, right? So really use your feet. Half kneeling position. We have a hot move. It's anti-rotation here. I'm not asking you to twist both directions. I want you to try to keep it forward. I'm literally getting my life after that. That was so good. I think part of why, well, I know it exhausted me because I'm very physically out of shape right now. I have not consistently worked out since I had Theo more than like twice a week. And then while I was pregnant with him, I barely worked out at all. So that's been rough. So I'm out of shape there. But also there's a heater on in here. So it's like 72 degrees in here while I'm working out. It felt amazing. It is now 1140. I'm gonna go speed clean the house up as much as I can. Theo will probably be waking up soon. He's gonna sleep for an hour and a half. Um, it does kind of stink because the timing today will work out to where Belle will go down for a nap, probably long before Theo is ready for one, unless I go wake Theo up right now. That gives me 20 minutes. I'll set a 20 minute timer and go like clean. today okay my arms are literally shaking from that workout I'm gonna put on just the quickest little face of makeup basically just like a refresh I've been kind of enjoying doing a lighter makeup which I laugh because <laughs> I feel like what I would consider lighter makeup on myself isn't that different from like my normal makeup but by lighter makeup I just mean like less on the eyes been really loving to have soft like basically no mascara type deal a little bit of makeup on and then go pick up go pick up bellamy i already miss him this is my problem you guys like i know every parent feels this way i know every parent loves to be with their children but i swear austin and i would talk about it a lot we're like 
is something wrong with us because we don't even like like we love a date night we love a date night and we need them but by hour two of our date night we're both like all right let's carry this on at home so we can see the boys like let's continue date night at home because we just love being with them and so like even when there's been times where I'll have Belle go to my mom's or to our in-laws for a few hours or even just like a whole day from like you know 10 a.m to 5 p.m so that I can get stuff done I miss him so much like so much and yeah I love the peace and quiet and I love the clean house but it, it's almost like the time I get away from him reminds me how much I'm like I don't really want that anyways but like that's probably how I will feel when I'm in my 40s and my kids are grown up and most of them will be moved out I will be thinking man how did I want how was I waiting and wishing for this to happen anyways that's my little two cents but yeah, you guys can kind of watch my quick makeup routine. You know when you just put on too much makeup and it makes you feel like you can't like touch your face and stuff. Guys, I feel like my hair is growing. How do we look? That's the makeup. Ooh, for a healthy baby. You did. I'm gonna feed him and then go get Belly. I think I kind of made it to where he's not gonna nap today because I picked him up too late. So he was like kind of past his, he was super tired and then he kind of got, kind of got a second wind. So I have the lights dim, we're gonna watch the Grinch together. are up now we're just watching the Grinch um, I ate lunch and stuff I think I'm gonna do some laundry we have so much fun things planned this week between um, Thanksgiving this next week between Thanksgiving coming up um, obviously there's like Black Friday Black Friday is always kind of fun especially now that we have kids to shop for I feel like and then our anniversary so we'll be getting to spend lots of times with lots of time with family and friends and do lots of fun holiday things I'm very excited about I'm just kind of trying to spend this week like prepping the house and getting things ready we are just kind of constantly behind on laundry these days speaking of laundry I got our family Christmas pajamas last week and these are the wonder shop brand from Target they are so soft and it's a waffle texture these are Austin's it's just like some button joggers and then my top is the same as his. It's just a really same, it's the same material as the pants. Can you tell how flowy and just like floppy and soft it is? $10 for the top and $10 for the bottom. They did a random sale. So I feel like that was really affordable. I don't usually buy Christmas jammies because they're so expensive. But we got those. And then my mother-in-law today, when I picked Bellamy up from her house, she sent us home with some Burt's Bees ones. Okay, here are the Burt's Bees jammies. So... She kept Bellamy's there because they need washed. Okay, these are Austin's. <laughs> They're little gingerbread print. And side note, Burt's Bees like seriously has the best jammies. These cute red shirts. <laughs> I love it, I cannot wait to wear these. And then here's Theo's. I think I'm extra and I'm drinking out of a Christmas cup you guys I think I'm extra excited and hopeful and ready for the holidays this year because one last season I was just in a different I was like in a transition period I didn't feel like myself because I was freshly pregnant we had just moved yada 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 um this year I think I'm extra hopeful, extra excited, like extra motivated to just make it so special because we have had a year. It has been a really, really hard year. 
so it just gives me that extra determination to make Christmas like so special and so sweet um, I'm just really hopeful I'm really hopeful I'm really excited and I can't always say that I feel that way every Christmas you gotta tighten your bib up a little bit to go on a walk because it's just rough out here it's actually and it's actually freezing outside mm. but we're gonna make the most of it because both the boys are feeling a little bit sad so I saved a little Starbucks cup for him and I'm gonna make hot cocoa using cocoa powder organic milk a little bit of brown sugar and then I bought some dye free um oh, that's way too hot I bought some dye free marshmallows Yep. Please put some sprinkles on top. This is gonna be this is gonna be so festive, Belle. Alright guys, I ended up solo parenting for most of the evening, so I couldn't really keep vlogging. Austin worked really late this night, so I'm just going to end the vlog with a voiceover. Um, if you want to check out Haya, I have a link in the description box for you guys to save 50% off your first month. I promise you will not regret it. Um, and thank you so much, Haya, for sponsoring today's video. And thank you guys for watching my videos, for always supporting me, always being so loving and kind. I feel like we've built such an awesome community here, and I'm just really thankful for you guys. And I... Hope this video blessed you in some way. Make sure you go out of your way today to love on someone and make them feel extra special because they are. I'll catch you in the next one.